that. It's trying to get some chitty chitty bang bang with the other ones. <laughs> yes, you look really shot. good. Look at that, here's my bum bum. Shaker, shaker, shaky. <laughs> wow, what an abs. That is insane. Just come to Launceston for the day. This place is insane. We've just done that chairlift across the water. Now we're doing this track all the way down to Launceston City Central. Go have some sushi, I reckon. Launceston's a nice little town, actually. Love it. Soon to find out how nice their uh, sushi train is. <laughs> we're meant to be camping like an hour out of Launceston, but oh, I even got a permit. We do have to go. Oh, I suppose we don't have to. I ended up getting a permit for it, so we do have to make it there. Rundle Mall. We're back home. Nice little Rundle Mall. All right, Launceston. Not a bad little town, actually. Bit of sushi train for lunch. <sighs> now I've just walked all the way from Launceston back up to the van. <sighs> and we wonder why we're getting skinny. All right, we had a couple lazy days in the little town called Campbelltown. Now we're just making our way through to Hobart, down through behind Hobart, down the coast to uh, Hastings Cave and Thermal Pools. So we're going to go to these underground caves um, and then Wednesday is like 28 degrees so we're going to go to this fresh water hole that I found online. So we're going to go swimming there and then make our way back up to Hobart, have a look at Hobart which we're actually about to drive through but we'll come back and then go down to Port Arthur and then from Port Arthur we're going to go all the way up the eastern side of the coast through um, St. Helens and Wine Glass Bay, whatever it's called, and then do like all the ocean because the weather's getting a bit warmer. So, yeah, we just had a lazy couple days relaxing. Um, I don't know if we said, but we've booked home now on the 15th, on the 14th, so we've got another 13 days here, so that'll work out perfect. By the time we go down, back up, we should get back to Devonport and have seen everything we want to see and then start doing the east coast of Australia in the peak of almost summer so that'll be wicked looks like they're um, building a new bridge here look at that don't know what's wrong with the one that's already here but our tax money needs to be spent apparently Just made it to Hastings Cave Information Centre. We're gonna go grab our tickets and then spend probably the next hour having a swim in the thermal pools and walking through the forest. And then by that time, we'll be able to make our way up another 20 minutes to the caves and then go on a guided tour. So we're gonna go down for a half an hour splash and a shower and then head up, get some warm clothes on and head down to the caves. Apparently they're like eight degrees all year round. And this track leads to a thermal pool. How cool is that? Look how big this tree was. Look at the size of this tree once upon a time. Massive. 
This is half to be one of the most unbelievable things you could ever see. Crazy. What do you reckon of that? Amazing. That is like the most wild experience you can have in your life. Being under the floor of the forest. And it goes an extra two and a half kilometers deep, but you're not allowed to go down there. Crazy. Alicia's doing a pesto pasta with chicken schnitzel on top for dinner tonight. Have a look at this campsite. Oh. Get a load of this. Beautiful grass right on the river. And the pub's just up the road, so I'm actually gonna go have a beer because I haven't had a beer in a fucking long time. And yeah, just wanna support the locals. Look at this. Everyone's just down in their chairs by the water. It's beautiful.